Hi, hobby friends. Let's talk about the death corpse of Krieg. So, that Kill Team box came out a little while ago, and it was full of lots of cool stuff, not least of which were the ten characterful, grim, and yes indeed dark, Death Corpse of Krieg Guardsmen. For this speed-ish paint job on the Krieg, I wanted to capture something of the box art feel, which itself captures a lot of the general Krieg art feel. Other than mud, I'd say a big characteristic of the Krieg art is warm shadows and reddish bounce light. So, that's why, even though these boys are going to end up your typical Payne's Grey, great-coated death enthusiasts, we start with Molotow Burgundy for our base. When the lads are looking particularly red, clean out the airbrush and fill it with Molotow Petrol. I love this colour. We're going to apply this in the same way you do a zenithal highlight, concentrating the spray from a steep top-down angle. I want to make those two colours play a little more nicely together now, and also get a little more realism back on the mini, so after this step I sprayed from a low angle with a transparent burnt umber, leaving pure burgundy in only the deepest recesses and overhangs. We need to desaturate now and add a little bit of texture, so I grabbed a nice cool mid-grey and used a soft dry brush to apply some highlights. One of the keys to efficient painting is to get as much information out of each step as possible. Sure, I could have added this highlight through the airbrush, and it might even have been a bit faster, but dry brushing doesn't just add colour, it also adds texture, and that's why I chose this technique for this application. There are no rules, only approaches. I'm still after a little more contrast and more visual information, so I do another dry brushing step, this time with a lighter grey and a stiffer brush. This isn't typical dry brushing really, since I'm going for more scratchy marks, so let's call it scratch brushing. And after that, it's all just detail. I'd like some attractive footage of me layering khaki on the masks, Vallejo metal colour on the metallics, some cool plasma glow stuff with the airbrush, but clearly I'm not a pro YouTuber since all that footage seems to have, well, gone. But suffice to say, with a few more paints, some AK interactive mud effects and an oil wash, you should end up with something that looks like this. There are loads of videos out there on oil washes and the like, but if you'd like to see my take, let me know in the comments and maybe we can look at all that stuff next time. I have plenty more Kriegsmen to paint and show you. Shout out to Thomas, whose patronage gave me all the footage I needed for this video, and probably a hundred more. And if you like my work, check out my Instagram, and I'm always happy to hear about potential commission projects. Oh, and uh, how to set up a camera properly.